Alright guys, another episode here of Truck Stories, telling you guys kind of the history of the truck, who we got it from, what its life was before we got it, and uh, you know, kind of everything we want to bring to the table so that you know when we pass it on to you, you can make memories with it. The gentleman on this truck is 80 years old. He lived down south of here about, it's about two and a half, three hours away. And uh, he saw us, actually his friend saw us on YouTube told him about us he's not tech savvy not internet he's 80 and so that gentleman contacted us and had us reach out to him the owner and say we would be interested in rescuing the truck and and doing something with it and what happened was is he bought this truck brand new and it served on his farm and his ranch um, he built the flatbed he built the bumper the bumper's got a spare tire carrier all right let's start at the front I'm gonna get sidetracked if I just walk around. So let me start at the front. So this bumper he built with a spare tire carrier, and I gotta get my shadow out of this, but if you guys look closely here at the bumper, it's got, the bumper angles with the truck. You can see that. that, that, that doesn't seem weird at all. But if you look close, you can see the weld seam right here. And if you look at this, you can see what I see. This piece right here was this piece right here of straight steel. So he was intuitive enough to cut this off, save it, flip it around, weld it, then plate it and box it to make a clean corner and make it match left to right. I mean, and he built this in the 70s. So this guy's a smart guy. Like I complimented him on just the bumper and I can tell you it's got three four by four square tubes with plate across the front to the frame. I don't think there's many things you would run into with this that would ever even bend it. Let alone, I mean, maybe like a semi truck or something, but no, no car of the '70s was going to dent this truck. So, this is an original paint truck. It's a 1972 1210, so it's a three-quarter ton four-wheel drive. It is a Dana 44 front, a Dana 60 rear. It does have the limited slip in the rear, which limited slip means it's like posi. So when you when you gas it and it starts spinning or whatever, it sends power out to both sides. So you, for lack of a better term, you got one tire fire or two tire fire. This is a two tire fire. It'll do, you know, if you did a burnout, they both would spin. And it's a camper special. So it's got overloads and all the stuff on the back for hauling. And he built this hot bed, 10 inch rack and everything else. And he put a gooseneck hitch on that here because he had a gooseneck trailer that he hauled eight ton of hay. So 16,000 pounds of hay. The trailer weighs 7,000 pounds. So, you know, 20, what is that? 23,000, my kindergarten math. And this truck weighs six and a half thousand. So he was 29,000 pounds rolling down the highway. He said he did that for 30 plus years. Never missed a beat. <laughs> I mean, just workhorse of a truck. He built the bed nice and low so you could load in and load out with stuff. His dogs could get in and stuff like that. And this truck's a big block. It's got a 392 in it. It's got power steering, power brakes, but it's a four speed. It's manual. So it's a gear jammer. And on the back, you know, he plated it like normal. Didn't build much of a bumper, but there's the hitch. That just, you know, had a two and five sixteenths ball in it. Had his trailer brake wiring there. It's got trailer brakes. So that, tell me, tell me that won't tow something. I mean, that's, that's back when somebody gave a crap about stuff, you know, and they wanted to make it last. And here we are 50 years later and this truck is rock solid. So we got it and it had, it had been off the road at least until 2017. These are original plates too, by the way. So it had been off the road for at least five years. He told me it was probably longer than that. He didn't drive it very much in the last 10 years. And we found that because the... The fuel tank needed to be flushed out. We rebuilt the carburetor. We put a new starter in it. The starter was weak. Battery, battery cables, plugs, wires, cap rotor, points, um, new hoses, new belts, coolant, change the oil, diff fluids, all the normal stuff. But after we did that, bump, it, bump the key, fire it up, drive it to town. I put like 250 miles in this truck already. We've put the spare tire back on the front and we've used it as a push truck. We've we actually kind of started calling it the push truck because we've had a bunch of these rigs here. You know, we, they come in, they don't they don't run or whatever, and we got to get them in the shop. And if you push them with a tractor or tractor bucket, you can scratch them or dent them or whatever. And so we've just been using this with a nice tire on the front, just push them right in the shop. The thing works great. I mean, it absolutely works great. It would not break my heart if we use it for another six months or a year. Now, 
one of you guys is going to want to have it and it is for sale it's an inventory this is a business obviously um but it is a great, great truck for us to use for right now. It'll be a great truck for somebody to use on their farm or their ranch or their business or their teenager's first rig to drive to high school to have some cool, tough truck. And it's far from perfect. It's got dents. It's got dings. It's got scratches. It's got little, couple little rust spots in the floor. Nothing major, you know, nothing big, but a couple little spots. And, but the, the cool thing is, like, the heater works, the radio works, every gauge works, the horn works, like everything works. All the lights, the high beams, the low beams, we replaced the headlight switch and the high beam switch. Now, for you young guys, you won't know this, the high beam switch is on the floor. It's a button. You push it with your foot. I know you, you millennials don't know that, but that, that is, that's where the high beams are. So, anyway, um, great truck. It's all complete now. We had some funky bucket seats that he got out of a wrecking yard. We threw those in the garbage. This is not a perfect seat, but it is the factory seat. It is the correct seat. Uh, it has all the seat belts in it, stuff like that, and mats and the trim and doors and stuff like that. All the glass is good. Um, just a great truck, you know. And when's the last time you found a truck this clean and this straight, and it's still the original owner, original title? I mean, it's unbelievable to me that these things are still out there. We find them all the time, but it's just its just unbelievable. There's still a 50-year-old truck out there that a guy bought it brand new. Anyway, it's for sale. It's on the Instagram. It's on the website. We'll have the YouTube video. We'll post links in the bottom and stuff like that. But this has been another episode of Truck Stories. We're going to continue doing these and tell every story that we get on these vehicles. We're going to try and tell the story to you guys so that you will have it forever and that the story and the soul of the truck will never be lost. See you on the next one. Make sure you guys like, tag, share, and follow and help us continue to tell the stories of these trucks.